an important event this year, of course, that, that uh, uh, since we lost uh, uh, our Queen, Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, all the previous coins uh, have been with Her Majesty, and now this is the first issue of the ones with King Charles. So in, I think these coins will probably acquire uh, more value in the future because it is the first one of the of all the coins that will come from now on for as long as uh, King Charles is on the throne. Well, it was popular from the beginning, actually. It's the same as happened with National Day. We thought it would be a, a once every 25 years event, and we found the whole of the people turning out, and we said it's got to happen every year. When we came in in 1988, we were looking for innovation in the things that we did to generate money and activity and all of this is not something that produces millions it is something that is that actually makes money for the public purse for the for the Gibraltar national mint the increase in the value just on the basis of, of Gibraltar's population you know in what in the when the first one was issued the population was nowhere near 38,000 as it is now so the demand within Gibraltar uh, has been exceeding the supply for many years, and we've kept it so that it retains uh, its value as an investment. We think it's a very attractive thing to own and to give to somebody as a present. And at the end of the day, the profit that is made on the coins is for the whole of Gibraltar because the National Mint is part of the structure of the savings bank, and all of the profits within that structure finish up as being the reserves of the, the fund for future generations, the, the rainy day fund.